Is this the real life? And someone that really did that was Alicia Keys. The minor fall and the major lift. You sow the seeds into the ground. Beetroots, carrots, I don't know. Okay, well, I don't know if the camera angle is right, but I've checked three times. Don't feel like checking it again, so you'll have to deal with it. This week I didn't do an intro because I literally didn't have anything planned and didn't have to say anything about this week. And that's pretty much the thing with everyone these days. People are finding out who the hell they are actually living with. People are getting bored as fuck. People don't know how to spend their time with productive stuff. And um, I've been there, done that for two weeks. At the beginning of when everything started to shut down. I already was a procrastinator, but now Corona was an excuse to not do anything. I'm like a high and low person. There's no in between for me. So either I'm very productive, very on point, very energized, or I am down low, not being able to do anything. And now I, um, I made an extra video of Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen in the style of Alexandra Burke. I didn't record that. Well, I recorded it, but did not film behind the scenes because I was in a hurry as always. Because um, I wanted to film it outside, but it was already 5 p.m. So the sun was going to drop and I needed the light to see the spring like vibe, you know, the plants in the background. So I didn't film that, but you can see the video on my YouTube channel, obviously. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And for the Thursday cover, I didn't know yet what I was going to do, but then there was Ogene, and that's a Dutch girl band, a pop group, harmonies. And I've already covered a few songs of them, but now they were doing a series of quarantine covers uh, with each of them at home, filming themselves doing their part on a song, their kind of melody that they took, and then put it together to one beautiful harmony. And they did that with their own songs, but also with Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. And I thought, well, maybe I should try that too. So that's what I did. Is this the real life? Fantasy, fantasy. Is this the real life? Is this the real life? Okay, so I did. Um, I figured out what the melodies are for each vocal, and um, I recorded it once, and now I'm gonna perfect it. And I won't bother you by showing that whole process, because that's going to take a damn long time. <laughs> but this is the start. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. I just recorded my harmony version of Bohemian Rhapsody, the video at least, and I did the audio earlier today. And I used three different outfits for it. And it was this uh, sweater-like thing, this jacket with this yellow shirt, and uh, what I'm wearing, right. This was my setup. I used this light again and stand. I have to make it vertical, because otherwise it can't fit three times in one view. I guess. So luckily a few weeks ago I bought this I bought this thing that you can put your phone in. So I used my phone for it and I hope and I think the quality is good enough. So now I'm going to try and edit that to one piece. It's not perfect. Sometimes my voice tends to clinch with itself. I think it's my intonation that's just not entirely there yet. There were some people on YouTube that didn't like that I was doing the exact same thing as um, Ogene did with Bohemian Rhapsody. I said that I was inspired by them, that I'm a fan of them, and that I just wanted to try to do my own take on it. And serving as the Thursday cover, it just fitted. Luckily the bigger half of people did like it and did think it was beautiful and um, if you want go check it out and leave some nice comments. I sometimes wish I'd never be born at all Anywhere the wind blows I thought maybe
maybe I can talk about someone or something that inspired me last week. And someone that really did that was Alicia Keys. A while ago already she put out a song called The Underdog and it's kind of like a shout out to all people that don't feel worthy or that uh, well the lyrics is. Um, I'm gonna look up what the lyrics is because I don't know by head. So I sing a song for the hustlers trading at the bus stop Single mothers waiting on a check to come Young teachers, student doctors, sons on the front line Knowing they don't get to run This goes out to the underdog Keep on keeping at what you love You'll find that someday soon enough You will rise up, rise up, yeah So the song is pointed at anyone that feels being the underdog and doesn't feel worthy in the society they live in. And I've been quite hyped about that song. I listened to it 15 times now, I think. And I already knew that Alicia Keys was a nice person because she's so real and so humble that she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. Sometimes she doesn't wear any makeup. And she's still beautiful. And with that, she basically shines a light on humanity and who we are at the bottom of what we actually are without anything we accomplished, we achieved, just who you are as a person, without any shine, without any makeup, you can still be beautiful. And that's what she tries to tell us, I think. And I, uh, I'm a fan. Okay, so I'm from Wienendaal, Wienendaal, Veenendaal, whatever. And um, here is an organization which is called Flo 038. And that is like the cultural sector of Veenendaal. And once a month they organized what was called a Lazy Sunday session. And that was uh, just a few hours of local singers, songwriters to perform in a little pub or a little coffee place. And now obviously that can't happen anymore in person. So they're now planning to live stream it uh, from YouTube and Facebook. I've been asked to do that again so now I'm uh, thinking of a set list for 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna practice that. So I think maybe a good idea is to start with Hallelujah, because that's a new song I covered recently. Then I want to do an intro where I introduce myself to people who don't know me yet and point them to my YouTube and social media. And then I should add to a total of like eight songs and I'm going to find out what those songs are going to be. We're working on the garden. We sow seeds into the ground. Beet roots, beet roots, carrots and onions, potatoes, and what more? I don't know. But that's the other thing that we're busy with today. And um, it's time to have a break and then figure out what the set list is going to be. Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift, the baffled king composing Okay, so I just got back from the Lazy Sunday session and it went quite well. However, I was a little shaky because I wasn't used to just singing. Yeah, I'm used to sing in front of a camera, but there were three cameras and there's no real audience. And it was hard to get my breath under control because it was a little up here. But nevertheless, it still went quite good. And I'm glad that I did it. It's an extra experience. So now at last, for what's left of it, it's a weekend for me, a few hours to go, yay. This also concludes this week, it wasn't a lot and um, I'll be thinking more of shooting more content that might be interesting. So, goodbye, subscribe, you know it, and see you next week.